Welcome back to the KCP and YouTube. I got an exciting one for you. I'm going to be talking about some tips and tricks of the trades for my creators, for my streamers out there before we really dive into that technology talk, because I kind of want to build all of this from the ground up. So for all of my creators that have been not only hitting me up personally, but hitting up KCP and as well, this one's for you. In this video, I'm going to address a whole bunch of things. So if you need a notepad, piece of paper, or maybe you just need to slide back in this video a few times to catch everything, I'm completely okay with that. Welcome to episode two. We are gonna start from the very, very, very ground zero of the inbox messages and advice and things that we have been getting not only at KCPN, but also myself personally. And we're, we're going to do this right. I made a tip page a long time ago, and I don't mean tip as far as like donations, donations, gifts, 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 more gifts, more gifts. <laughs> I mean, tips as far as advice, as far as a little bit of guidance for things that I've done and mistakes that I've made to help my future creators and streamers to not kind of follow in those same footsteps and hopefully get their grind a little bit, a little bit faster, a little more efficient than some of the mistakes that I, I followed with. None of those mistakes were tragic. Some of them are just things that I realized I would have rather done differently than what I did before. In this tip page, I actually posted it in my Discord. I'll put the Discord link down below. I actually do a lot of these kind of tech tips, streaming tips, creator tips type conversations also on my Twitch channel, which we stream live every Wednesday at 7.30 Central, 8.30 Eastern time, twitch.tv slash game armor game. I'll drop that link down below as well. But we're gonna go through this tip page and we're really gonna dive in on a lot of the questions that have been asked out of our company in the Kansas City Public Network on how do you get things rolling and how do you keep it at a, you know, high high quality. I feel like we're, we're high quality right now. You know, 1080p, we're looking, we're looking crispy out here, you know? <laughs> so let's dive into the first thing. Whether if you are doing a podcast, you are streaming, maybe you're doing short or long form uh, social media, the one important thing that you want to start with is audio. Now, this is not going to be a product shelling out uh, kind of episode or anything like that. We will dive into product versus product and prices versus prices in future videos. But as of right now, this is just basic information that I need a lot of my creators to understand and know before they go out and even start to window shop anything. So the reason why I say audio is because the first thing that any consumer of content sees, hears, registers first is audio. If you have a really bad experience with audio, when you jump into someone's stream or you jump on someone's YouTube video, you immediately disconnect. There are a lot of people that can, that can kind of put aside um rough video quality maybe it's not the best aspect ratio of things or that nature but when they put in their earphones or put on their headsets and they hear that audio you're going to get somebody that hops right out so my best advice even if you don't have the funds to be able to purchase a new microphone that maybe has a whole bunch of gizmos and gadgets that will break down in future episodes what you can do is start to research the EQs and the filters and things like that, that can help process the sound of your microphone to make it better. Things like noise, noise limiters and compressions and all, there's just so many filters that we will dive into in future episodes because we will do a breakdown on um, programs like OBS and Streamlabs that also offer 
those filters as well but audio is one of the biggest things that you want to focus on first especially if you are just an audio based product there's a lot of podcasts out there that are solely audio based products that just are not up to that quality that quality is what you are selling but the biggest thing you are selling and that leads me to tip number two is yourself a lot of streamers make the mistake of getting on and thinking I can just play a game or I can just watch a video and my following will just come organically because they like me. That is not how it always works. Now there are some gamers out there. There are some creators out there that can just jump onto their stream at any time, put anything on the screen and just sit back and chat amongst the chat on stream now you have to remember a lot of these creators have spent years and years and years of time to cultivate that loyal of an audience that no matter what is being done they're gonna hop in because that's their chance to be able to interact with them we are not at that point yet you have to create that connection with your audience you have to build that connection with your audience and just because you are grabbing a camera does not mean you are connecting with your audience that just means now they can see you one of the biggest mistakes that i've seen and i have been guilty of before is being too lost in whatever you are streaming that you completely neglect the chat that is happening with you those people the people that have followed that have subscribed that are active in your chat are there to interact with you they can watch any and I mean any person on any platform playing the same game as you. What makes them want to see the notification on their phone and come to hang out with you? That is something that is most important. So second with camera, know that you are on the other side of it. People want to see you. Now that comes with a lot of things. Some people are a little camera shy. Some people don't have the necessarily like the mental fortitude to want to be able to wake up and jump right in front of a camera find the best processes that make you the most comfortable in your own zone your creation area should reflect you it should embody the strength and the confidence to get you in front of your camera and you be the most authentic you as possible that's how you get the best content period you have to make it to where there's not a single person on this planet that can go and jump on your stream or jump on your show or jump on your podcast and do it better than you because it's supposed to be your content now as you see as we're going through this i'm not product selling you i'm not telling you what camera to buy i'm not telling you what mic to buy we will go through price and brand and tech and all of that very soon in future episodes but right here i want people to understand the very ground zero of all of this creator universe because it's it's important to know these things before you even start to window shop on the physical things that might make you look better or won't make you a better creator in general so we talked about audio you don't want bad audio we talked about the visual. Not only do you want a camera to be able to visualize you and your person and your activities to your consumers, but you also want to put yourself in the mental state to be able to do so. So, I mean, what's left, right? Like that's, that's pretty much everything, you know, audio, video. Actually for more than 60% of the people that watch this video or more than 60% of the people that have personally hit me up to ask, that's all you really need outside of, of course, your broadcasting software, which we're actually going to talk about next episode. We're going to break down all OBS Streamlabs, XSplit, those kind of programs and kind of dive into the simple mechanics of them and how not to be afraid of them. There's a lot of people that get intimidated by these programs and they think that they, they are a lot more than what they are and they're really bare bones, they're really simple. And as long as you're willing to take the time to kind of push the reps through and understand the programs that you're using, which actually that's my next tip, understand the software you're using. 
and it doesn't matter if it's a streaming software or if you're just using Adobe Audition to record audio, understand the software that you're using. Sit down, watch YouTube tutorials, sit down and, and tinker with every setting and filter and knob so you know what does what. There are days where I just sit down at my desk and I do sound checks and effect checks and just see how much one to two percentage changes on my voice when I'm editing audio or the same thing with video. I'm in Premiere Pro just changing color filters and, and, and transitions and all these kind of things to get my reps and so I'm more and more comfortable. So as I, you know, make these YouTube videos that you're watching right now, then I can source those things and do those things out of basically muscle memory that helps you so much when you start to do multi-platform posting and the editing is really the only part that's slowing you down. Being able to get those reps in, in any program that you use helps so much, especially for my streamers. There are times almost all the time, no matter how stable of a setup that you have, something's going to go wrong. Audio is going to fizzle out. Your video is going to freeze. A program's randomly going to crash and you're going to have to work on the fly because with streaming, you are basically running a small network television show and you are live. You have to be able to troubleshoot and be, I hate to use this analogy, but be a swan in the water. You don't see the feet kicking and the paddling under the water, but you see this elegant swan across the pond. That's how you have to be on live on live camera. You have to be the chaos under the water. That's making everything run, but you look elegant and floating along every time when you show that panic to your audience, it makes it seem like you've lost grip on the content that you are producing. Why would you want that? Now there are creators out there that have now made it funny for bugs and things like that to happen. And a lot of the people that are on platforms like Twitch are other creators as well. They get it. They sympathize it. Sometimes chat will help you solve the problem. But when you get the ability to have those reps in and take those practice trial runs of things that could happen when it does happen, it's just so simple and it's not painstaking and it doesn't drive you up the wall when those things happen. Another thing, another tip pro tip. Stop allowing your content to drag on way longer than it should. Now, there are tons and tons of people that have hit me up asking to start podcasts that are hitting me up asking to start network series and be a part of the network and things like that. There is no reason that you should not know what your threshold is as far as time and attention. And what I mean by that is how long do you think you can stand in front of a camera and keep my attention before I want to do anything else? You have to understand that until you build those reps, until you build the charisma, the mic tricks, the things like that, to be able to hold and captivate an audience, you have to take it one minute at a time. I cannot say, of course, you have no experience. Yes, let's give you a three hour show. It's just not, it doesn't make sense. Understand your subject at hand, stick to that subject, add your personality and let it be that. There is no problem with starting podcasts that are only 10 to 15 minutes long. Not everyone needs to have a podcast that is over an hour long. Your average consumer doesn't even listen to podcasts of that length anymore. Let's be honest with ourselves and not battle with numbers, but work with them. We do not have to continue to put out content that is way longer than any consumer that is not truly invested in you. You want content to where a new person can walk by and they watch every moment of it. That's what makes them subscribe. That's what makes them put those alert bells on, which <clears throat> speaking of that, you might want to uh, subscribe to the KCPN YouTube channel and hit those alert buttons. So, you know, every Tuesday when these videos drop, <laughs> but 
you have to be in tune with that and within yourself and that also doubles back to that confidence that we need in front of a camera to be able to captivate as you see all these things work together it's supposed to be a system that allows you to not only have fun and be yourself but put out the best and most important most authentic product out there so we talked about audio we talked about visual we talked about the reps and knowing your programs I know it sounds like a lot. We, we also talked about not overextending your product. My last thing, stop thinking it's going to happen tomorrow. I know with social media and I know with the uh, certain social algorithms out there that it seems that sometimes you can post a video and wake up the next day and it's a million views and you have a superstar video. That's not how it works. It's just not. And you have to understand that not only does it not work that way, you have to work to get there. I've been working on multiple platforms at this point, not only this YouTube channel, but my own YouTube channel, YouTube shorts, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and it just takes time Th that time is the time that you grow you get those camera reps in you get those comfortability reps in of knowing who you are and how you produce content and getting the reps of producing the content because what you're not prepared for for most is if you were to do a show this week for two people and then the next week you have 20,000 people in your show. Most people are not prepared for that. These are the reps that you do to get comfortable for when that happens, because we all know there's things out there, especially in the live streaming world called raids in a moment's time. If the right person looks at the right stream, you can now be flooded with a ton of new eyes that have never seen your product before, never seen you before, and they're getting a chance to catch you for the first time. You have to be ready for those moments. Anytime you're in front of a camera, that can happen. You have to put in the work to be ready for those moments. And that is podcasting. That is content creation. That is live streaming. That is anything that you are taking the time to put yourself in front of a camera, put a microphone in front of you and say, I'm going to put myself out to the world. You never know what can happen. That's why you always need to sharpen the blade, keep the tools right and be ready for the next step in adventure. So with this series, the one thing I want to try to help alleviate is a lot of the hello KCPN. Can you help me start my own show or hello game armor game? Can you help me start or design or produce my own show? Because guess what? We have a lot of very new, exciting concepts in series coming to this channel. We have a lot of things in the work that is, you know, keeping us tied up. And the one thing that I want to do is, is allow some help, some alleviation, some advice, but also a little bit of guidance to help the people that have been hitting us up to do those things. I want to support and help as many creators as possible. But what we all can't do is run ourselves thin trying to run every single person's podcast idea possible. It's just, it just won't make sense. So I'm going to be coming out with these videos weekly on, on the KCPN YouTube every Tuesday. I hope you're ready. And like I said, the next episode, we're going to be talking about broadcasting softwares, what to use, what to stay away from, uh, maybe what may work a little bit better for your system versus other systems. And then we're going to start diving into the tactile, the physical, actual technology that we've all been waiting for. I know, I know we're going to get into all of that. Things like, I don't know, headsets, audio mixers, the, the audio interfaces themselves streams accessories i mean 
maybe PC things too as well, because you know, these day and ages, you kind of need one to power what's going on. But with all that being said, hey, if you made it this far and you aren't subscribed yet, I don't know what we're doing. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, drop down in the comments if this has helped you kind of get some extra boost, some extra note of, uh, especially if you're brand new to this and you're thinking about jumping into the content creation game, maybe this helps spark a little more bulbs than last week. And then we can get rolling on how things actually get get started with this. I appreciate you guys so much. I'll see you next week. We're out.